Welcome Aries. This is going to be your October bonus reading. Let's jump right into the tarot and see what is coming out for you guys. Let's, all right, we do have the five of wands in the reverse with the nine of cups. There may be something here that what I'm seeing with the five of wands. Um, conflict, not seeing eye to eye, not wanting to fight anymore also. Okay, something doesn't feel very fulfilling at this time, feeling unhappy or unsatisfied about a situation. Yeah, we do have the nine of swords. This is, you know, really thinking about something here. Uh, and then we do have the dawn of swords. Okay. There's um, a bit of... I don't know, when you see that page of, of swords, you know, as the overall energy, this is more of something that that can be an over, overthinking something or just really thinking about something here as we have the nine of swords. There's a sense of um, insecurity or, you know, some dishonesty too. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get more into it and see what's going on because it does show that there's a sense of feeling very unhappy here nine of wands this is all about perseverance the tower uh, unexpected event all right the unexpected event with the tower the ten of swords wow aries what is going on Ooh, this challenge is this <clears throat> lingering pain a lot of hurt here cancer scorpio pisces eight of wands okay well, I love that we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, there is an offer coming into you regarding a connection. So what I'm seeing here right away is that there is somebody here thinking with this Knight of Pentacles energy and there may be a lack or some unclear things happening in this person's mind. And the reason why they're thinking this is because, <coughs> excuse me, it has to do something about <coughs> commitment, marriage, one second. <clears throat> I don't know where that came from. <clears throat> Commitment or marriage here with the Hierophant. So someone here could be feeling that they're either lacking or things are feeling confused or there's a sense of, you know, things feeling stuck. And the reason why they're thinking of this is because they're thinking of this Hierophant. Now the Hierophant does represent tradition, spirituality, seeking higher knowledge so there is something here where i feel that someone may be exploring more on to um you know getting more spiritual here in their mind or trying to get a deeper uh, understanding about what's going on because it does feel like they're a bit stagnant here uh and in the near future we do have the ten the king of cups energy and then the eight of wands i love to see this energy this is absolutely beautiful. There's a commitment, long, something long-term, lots of investment. This is a good sign of a solid offer regarding a connection. So let's see what this is. In the past, it's showing a lot of inconsistency. It's showing a lot of in and out energy, you know? So I don't know. Let's get this tower. Yeah, somebody's seeing very clear after the tower moment interesting okay yeah they're seeing that there's a clash not seeing eye to eye there's something here where they're needing i'm feeling like the needing of growth like needing more growth and that's why i feel like huh something here about this tower is teaching somebody some lessons i mean as in like getting a deeper understanding about where they are and what they're doing and how they're handling situations and it's making them dig deep whatever happened here it's helping them see clearly on what they need to do next two of wands five of cups i feel you making a choice uh here making a choice filling at a crossroads because the five of cups is here this is recovering this feels like you're persevering through a lot of sadness here kind of feeling alone too in this process it's very interesting to see that in your energy and we do have the knight of wands this is the energy that it's trying to keep going keep distracted here with the knight of wands too but there is a bit of inconsistency surrounding your energy the ace of cups is feeling unfulfilled 
heartbroken. Now, when we have the three of swords in the reverse, this is a huge sign that, you know, there's, there's a, a, a feeling of a lot of pain, right? trying to release, trying to forgive during a separation or something here is causing a very big challenge within a connection and opening the eyes of this other energy. A lot of investment, see? A lot of nurturing time and care. Is this planting seeds? It's like, yeah, there is, a, there is something happening as a death and rebirth, okay? There's a death and rebirth. There's that Knight of Pentacles once again, but now it's coming in the reverse. And then we have the Empress tired. So they're thinking about this. It feels like you may be dealing with someone because we have the Empress and the Knight of Pentacles and we have you thinking like heavy, heavy. Then there's an inconsistency. It feels like something's lacking. You're going through a hard time. And here we have somebody being stagnant, being stagnant in a time of hurt and pain. mixed signals, unstable, and the empress is exhausted, tired, overwhelmed, taking on a lot. So that could be you, the empress, dealing with the knight of pentacles energy. What is this hair fence? All right, so there's a time to recharge. This person could be a little bit defensive or think that they know everything, but they don't. Okay. <laughs> Sorry to say it straight up like that, but they don't. The king of wands is being too cocky for their own good. There's a need for, uh, there is a, a sense of separation here. Okay. I feel whatever this person is doing or why they're over here now second guessing everything is because they, they're, that you're, that you're removing yourself. You're removing yourself from the situation can't get through to this person right now and I feel that the best thing to do before things get out of hand is to just kind of do you know have them figure it out in a way and um, you getting rest in a way too I think I think uh, you know this person just feels maybe like trying to justify their actions or something but something is clearing up there is has been a lot of this person this tower can bring out the truth you know it could be a sudden change within the connection or within something that happened around you guys or something that that just happened and it does bring in the you know truth being revealed things being said chaos you know it could be a lot of hurt and um yeah, towers can also be very destructive but it's to bring back things stronger than before because things were already rocky. That's why it's mostly the inevitable sometimes. You know, it can be due to avoidance or or it's just something unexpected, you know. But from what I'm seeing here with the Queen of Swords in the near future, there is some honest talk. There is some honest talk because it's like you don't want to beat around the bush anymore. There's no more kind of a like there's just no more um not wanting any more bullshit or trickery or anything like that and i feel it's just getting to the to, just cutting to to the truth you know seeing very clearly on what's going on and i feel this person whoever this is has very strong emotions for you and i do think that they may be coming off you know well, yeah, foolish, but coming off a bit um, immature, not wanting to take, not wanting to kind of see things that they're doing wrong that can be a bit over um, overwhelming to the empress. Um, there is some growth happening here. I'm seeing, and there is it. It is like a breakthrough, but also there's a sense of a need of of growth. We need to turn this. Could be dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but we need to turn this into the King of Pentacles. Just the next step, like grow up a little bit, you know, because this isn't working. This person can't have the other person doing it all or the other person, 
you know, always trying to fix things or, you know, this is childlike to me. And this here is showing that this empress is so tired, overwhelmed, just needs a break. The king of pentacles is coming in the outcome, but if there's a lot of conflict and a lot of awareness that needs to break free from this mental, this uh, conflict in the mind for it to get through to this knight of pentacles to level up to this king of pentacles because the king of pentacles is who you want during a time of a tower the king of pentacles is someone that you know is leveling up their life so this is more of material wealth this is more being abundant and being patient and understanding determined focus um mature very mature uh, this is a personal growth and, and hitting and supporting others Okay, and I feel like this is where it's leading to the Knight of Pentacles, to the King of Pentacles, after some mental breakthrough comes in. Okay, I do see that, but there is a need to continue to stand your ground and be at peace with yourself, okay, to kind of shield yourself a little bit. Um, not like silent treatment or anything like that, but just more protecting your healthy boundaries here. Because someone is undergoing an awakening and, 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 and it does seem like they are seeing clear here, are starting to see clear. Um, and in the near future, it does look like conversation and there may be a little bit of delays of communication here in the outcome, okay? Or movement or things progressing due to someone needing to look at themselves on how they handle things. That's what I'm seeing. I mean, I'm, I'm just reading the cards, but I love to see the Ten of Pentacles. Again, this is long-term stability. This is a lot of investment, money, wealth, uh, just success, you know, accomplishments. It's a good sign to have that. And then we have this Page of Pentacles, which is showing a solid offer. So I am seeing, you know, stability coming in and how important it is for this couple here but again there is something here that's a lot of conflict and tension and very frustrating so i feel like that is where it's kind of stopping here um with this full energy because before anything this fresh start there needs to be conversation and there needs to be you know both being on the same page in some way to move forward because the tower it doesn't, you know, it is making this person kind of wake up. But let's see. Commitment. See, this person does want you to be part of their future. And they feel broken and shattered about the situation. And daydreaming. I'm always longing for you. In chemistry, I've never felt a passion this intense before. Holding back, I sh maybe this person has a hard time expressing their emotions. I mean, that's what it feels like. Everything's stagnant. I should have expressed myself better holding back. So, very interesting to see this person, you know, still holding back. But I feel like in the near future, there is conversation. I knew exactly what I was doing. I hid behind material things. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you, the daydreaming. And we both know I'm not the one for you. This person I feel is like, I feel like there's still need, I wish things could be different. I feel like there's still need to be growth. And I feel it's a process. But you at this time, I feel that you have enough on your plate here. And continuing to get that rest and to only handle situations or deal with situations that you can, that you can you know move you forward instead of keeping you stuck right so i feel like that is what's coming in for you too as however the situation goes and the conversation goes that's where everything will start you know clearing up i feel but there is a lot of love and a strong connection here um, between you and this person. So that's what I'm seeing. A lot of conflict and immaturity uh, during a very difficult time. All right, let's get your messages from Spirit here. Your first message is the world is a mountain that echoes your words. Reflection, seeing effects, what you do matters. 
These pains you feel are messengers. Listen to them. Getting signs, learning, learning, and then messages from spirit. All right. Stop playing small. You are the universe in ecstatic motion, courage, moving forward, making progress, action. All right. Beautiful there. Beautiful there. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. And transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all. So again, take what resonates with this reading. I hope this message helped and brought clarity. And if it did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys for your general readings, which I will start next week. So see you guys soon. God bless.